So uh, thank you for the inv invitation, Samsita. Um, I'm honored to be here with all of you and to talk about a subject that California has been debating wildly uh, since the 60s and affects everyone in this room. It's the uh, concept of regionalism. America has always been the great experiment, a place where people come to try and do things differently. The San Francisco Bay Area is a progressive microcosm of that experiment. Collectively, we've struggled, changed, and survived by reinventing ourselves and learning to think differently, with all the while creating a unique identity that calls people from all over the world to participate in the laboratory of sorts. Now, regionalism is an extension of that experiment, and is often defined as a political ideology that focuses on the common interests of a particular region and tries to address the problems of postmodern metropolitan landscapes. Now, the definition is elusive because it means so many different things to different people. In fact, they've even separated old regionalism from new regionalism. For some of its supporters, regionalism entails new forms of collaboration among business elites, tax base sharing, tying the fate of localities together. For still others, regionalism evokes the image of authoritative institutions. And yet and still, I have read that regionalism in California is a covert plan of UN Agenda 21 to destroy and globally control our way of living. Now, if we strip away the political rhetoric and the conspiracy theories, the plain language and common sense of this expression is area-wide planning, coordination, and cooperation of issues that we all share in common. Air, water, land, transportation, economics, and energy. Now, I'm gonna step back from the statistical details that the speakers have gone to and we've reviewed quite a bit and focus on the common denominator, the linchpin, so to speak, that greatly affects all of these areas that we've been discussing this afternoon and propose five areas to reevaluate in moving the mission forward of weaving San Mateo County together. Now, this common denominator can be the gateway or it could be a hurdle to actions, the stepping stone or a stumbling block. It's really the thread that combines housing, transportation, economics, and development. Are there any guesses what it could be? Local politics. Local political factors shape regionalism. Very few people do everything in just their city. Increasingly, we're used to living in one community, working in another, shopping in a third, and traveling to visit friends and families, catching a ball game, making a trek to the ocean or the Sierras. And people expect the system to function and work well. It is undeniable that what happens in my community affects neighboring communities and so forth, like drops in a pond that radiate out. Now, what could happen if cities independently try to solve problems in just their own city that really affect multi-jurisdictions? And neighboring cities are unaware of those solutions and, in turn, unprepared to respond to neighboring fixes. I liken possible consequences to cities seeking their own solution to the following clip. Now, while I'm not trying to say Belmont or other cities are that ill-equipped to solve problems uh, as Curly, 
I'm trying to point out in a humorous way that there are sometimes unintended consequences, cross purposes, fragmented thinking, loss of vital resources, and inevitable confusion. And if we're not working together on matters that concern the region, like traffic and housing, we will not survive. Now, Curly could have called Mo and Larry and maybe would have figured out a better solution or not. We can call on one another to figure these solutions out. Now, the harsh reality of the current political landscape will undoubtedly affect us working together. We have an electorate who is suspicious of government solutions, and some have a strong desire to criticize without adding solutions. And others no longer want to experiment. They want to close the lab down and return to a simpler pass. Joseph Bodevot stated, a clergyman might say there's a decline in the notion that we are all our brother's keeper, a decline in the sense of community that may be a prerequisite to moving ahead. And I believe he was on to something. We cannot move forward well unless we widen our concept of community. We need to be Belmont Plus, San Mateo, and more. Go beyond these political imaginary boundaries. You can drive from San Carlos to Belmont to San Mateo along Almeida de las Pulgas and not notice that you've changed city three times. Now, some of you may be saying to yourself, we're doing all this already. In response, I would say yes and no. To paraphrase one of the leading land attorneys in this area, 30 years ago in California, we were talking about how to solve two things, housing and traffic. Today, we are still talking about how to solve two things, housing and traffic. So there's always room for improvement, and I propose that we concentrate on two areas, five actually. First, visioning to the populace. Start an ongoing conversation with the general public and not right before we need to take a vote on something. To understand, envision, and support what our desirable regional futures are and be honest about the trade-offs involved in pursuing them. Changing an us versus them mentality, a city versus city, takes time. I have a good friend who just the other day said, we don't want to be like, and you fill in the city that you think goes there. And just the other weekend, I know she was there for movies and dinner, had coffee and drinks. Um, she relied on that infrastructure created in another city, but demonized them in the same breath. We have to change the conversation and push back on a united front to say that no, we are one whole community working together. Political will, not to play the blame game and be flexible to adapt to changing conditions. We really need to pursue fundamental reforms that political leaders will get very little reward, but in the long run, it will change the game and be important for the future of this area. A recent example of a successful political will maneuver, I think, is the Peninsula Clean Energy Initiative. We all gathered around together and made it happen. I would also suggest prioritizing planning equity for disadvantaged, low-income communities and smaller cities. How evenly are we distributing opportunities to smaller cities that have low economic-based communities? Fiscal incentives for regional cooperation should be more widespread. Bay Area Alliance created the Social Equity Caucus and acknowledged that issue. We should do more of that. Analyze what works in other places and implement models on a small scale to start. Leipzig model in Germany of city governance is a great example. Chattanooga, Tennessee with their placemaking and revitalization. Vancouver, Canada, for creating a bustling city nestled in beautiful natural setting. And last, regional innovation. Instead of forming the question around what are our regional problems, what about forming and focusing on what our regional assets are? What do we have that we can capitalize? We are also a world economy. 
We have world-class universities, research facilities, strong investment community, biotech and technology mines in the Bay Area. Let's delete the fragmentation and link these communities around some of the think tanks for civic good, for region and implementation. Now, with all that is before us, there's definitely light at the end of the tunnel. California is the eighth largest economy in the world. The great experiment is still working. With vision, leadership, innovation, sacrifice, California led in producing the needed infrastructure and the foundation of our prosperity and quality of life. We can do it again. And we have to if we want to keep people, industry, and innovation here. Now, I hope that more than receiving answers, you receive inspiration from Curly and myself to recalibrate all the hard work that many regional entities, all of you stakeholders in this room, and the public have been doing over the years to take it to the next level. Let's spend our time getting things done and leave the arm wrestling for the national arena. Denmark is said to be the happiest country. I would like to see San Mateo County and Santa Clara County to be the happiest region. I look forward to working with all of you. <laughs>